exactly. Mm -hmm. The book, the movie's out now. What's this experience like? This entertainment, you're doing junkets, all this other stuff. Like, what's what's the experience been? You know, it's been amazing. It's been such an honor. I mean, that's really just to put it, you know, quite frankly, you know, getting to hang out with Marcel, I mean, today, getting to hang out with Christine Metz, you know, meeting these amazing people. Uh, it's definitely been tiring, I think, mm -hmm. for everybody. But, you know, it's been a family event. It's been a family run, and we're coming to the end. But, you know, family lasts forever. You never thought would have happened in all your years that you're like, oh, my gosh, this is this is happening right now. I never thought in a million years I'd get to meet Josh Lucas. <laughs> and... I grew up on Glory Road in Sweet Home, Alabama. Uh -huh. That was me and my mom's favorite movie was Sweet Home, Alabama. Me and my dad's favorite movie was Glory Road. Both have him in it. He is, I fanboyed when I saw him for the first time. It was amazing. What drew you to this role as far as like, did you read the script and you're like, I have to be in it? Yeah, it was, it was exactly that way since it had so many things that I could relate with and it had so many things that I, that I loved and I'd never gotten to, to do in a character or in a film before, mm -hmm. um, especially because this is my first movie ever. Um, first of all, the thing about playing basketball in a film is something that I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Also, it's so inspiring for me, the story, since I could, I feel like any family can relate to it and it shows everyone that they have a purpose in life and it's just a beautiful story that more people should know about it. So I think that this film is going to help with that. And also just, just the, the chemistry of, the, of all of the cast, the cast was amazing. I was so excited to work with Josh Luke, this Chrissy Metz and everyone. It was just it was a beautiful set all day, and and it was just a great mm -hmm. miracle bringing this film together. Oh yeah, yeah, the film, the, the story itself. Uh, I think there should be a warning at the beginning that you <laughs> oh, definitely yes. need like a box of Kleenex. Yes, it's not like a one cry; it's more like a four or five cry. Like oh, yeah. don't want to, don't bother oh, yeah. bring makeup. Like don't just <laughs> just come in your yes. pajamas and just be bring a blanket. Those, uh, you know, that, yeah. that would have been uh, definitely preferable. Like you know the That's warning. That's what I was telling people at the premiere. Like I mean, like every time we go to every, everyone's like you know with their makeup. I, I was like you know you're gonna get that messed up when you start watching this movie. Right? Yes. Definitely. So now here's the thing. There's, there's basketball in the movie. Yes. Um, now, in the movie, it was um, LeBron and Michael Jordan. As far as the GOAT, I'm going to add somebody else in there. So you have LeBron, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant. So what do you guys think? From My order Goat? is Michael Jordan, okay. Kobe Bryant, and then third, LeBron James. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get bullied for this one. <laughs> uh, man, that's hard. Um, just because of... I mean, LeBron, uh, I, okay, I grew up with LeBron. Okay. So, I mean, I could, I, I never saw Michael Jordan play, um, but I know Michael Jordan's the girl. <laughs> so that's why, so that's why, that's the point where it comes to like, oh my God, I love both of them, but I mean, I can relate much more to my, to LeBron and I've watched him. But no Kobe? No, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not even in discussion. Not, well, I mean, I love Kobe and everything, but if it had to be in order. Uh-huh. Just because of everything that Michael Jordan changed the sport of basketball forever, mm. Michael Jordan, LeBron, and then Kobe. Okay, <laughs> all right. I grew up on VHS tapes of Michael Jordan because my dad's like <laughs> fifty something, so that I, I have to be LeBron. Uh, I mean, uh, Jordan all For the way. For sure. Oh, when you after you watched the movie, what was your takeaway from the movie as far as this is a life changing thing, or you might change a thought process? Yeah, it was beautiful because it not only taught me so much about acting and, and talents that I that I didn't know about myself in, in acting and I didn't know I could I could do. But it also taught me a lot of, about life and, mm -hmm. and, and things that I could use in everyday life. And the story really teaches you to, to see the positive and, and happy moments and sad moments of life. It's something that inspired me. And, mm -hmm. and also it's a beautiful story that when it happened, it brought so many people together. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. with this movie, it keeps bringing people together. So that's, that's a really cool thing that, that should happen more in the world yeah. nowadays.